I'm Brian and Karen at Chirk Castle in Wales. It only took us an, almost two hours to get here due to <laughs> GPS malfunctions. The theme of our vacation this year <laughs> is definitely malfunction <laughs> junction. Every day it's been one thing after another, but we are persevering. Yeah, and let's head into the castle and see what Chirk Castle is all about. The castle dates from 1295, built by Roger Mortimer de Chirk. It was part of King Edward I's chain of fortresses across the north of Wales. We enter the premises through a former stable, now a cafe and shop. We've just walked from the entrance up the trail about 400 yards to the castle on top of the hill. And take a look at that. This place is amazing here in Wales. We're going to go through the entrance here momentarily and go inside. The castle was bought by Sir Thomas Middleton in 1593 for 5,000 pounds, the equivalent of around 12 million pounds today, and remained in the Middleton family for over 400 years. That is the family crest atop the entrance. Let's go inside the courtyard and see what else we can find. As we enter the castle, we are greeted by this, the entrance hall. going up this rather grand staircase to the next floor. The dining room area. We have progressed into what is called the Grand Saloon of the home. Look at this beautiful harpsichord. It dates from 1742. This is the Portrait Gallery. Just off the gallery is the King's Bedroom. This area is the Castle Chapel. From 1911 to 1946, the castle was leased and occupied by Sir Thomas Scott Ellis. And 
and this area of the castle was part of the family's main living quarters. This somewhat dark and sooty area is the kitchen. We found our way into one of the castle's round towers. Here's an oven. Here are armaments, an interesting mix of items in one area. Time to do some exploring of the grounds. A short distance east of the castle is the Hawk House. With this amazing sculpted thatched roof, Looking out to the east is the town of Chirk and further, England. A small pet cemetery can be found in a secluded corner of the garden. A beautifully maintained garden occupies the east side of the castle with manicured hedges, rock gardens and terraces. Chirk Castle is over. What would you give it, Karen, as a score? I'd give it an eight on this bazaar. A very strong score. I was going to say seven and a half. Excellent cafe inside. We had a nice coffee. Got well, the coffee was like a. It's a cappuccino. Cappuccino, yeah. That was a, a solid eight, I think. Excellent place. We enjoyed coming here to Chirk 